In tonight's top story, as cases continue to rise, so do hospitalizations. Nakaya Carrero joins us in studio now to tell us about a hospital that's expanding. Nakaya. Nicholas and Lauren, 848 people have been hospitalized since the beginning of the pandemic here in North Dakota. And one concern is having the room for people who need extra medical attention. Hospitals are seeing many patients throughout the week, but throughout the ongoing pandemic, that amount has only risen. The things that a normal hospital has to deal with, um, accidents, um, heart attacks, stroke, um, those th things that happen all the time, um, the aspect of COVID is just another factor that has impacted um, our facilities uh, in the hospitals. The rolling 14-day average for Burley County is currently at 11.14%. And Mock says it's the elderly population that is being hospitalized the most. Whether that be because they have a compromised immune system or um, just not able to fight off the illness as well as a younger person would, um, they seem to um, have more prevalence of hospitalization. But the expansion of one hospital can meet the needs if necessary. Sanford Health announced it will be adding 14 new beds to the main floor of its Bismarck Medical Center. We have people that really count on us, uh, not only in the Bismarck Mandan area, but really three hours uh, away from here where we start to see patients coming. So I think the, the uniqueness of this is us being able to have a higher capacity uh, in our medical center and also meet the needs of the increased volumes. The 14 beds will include six intensive care units, which will bring the total number of beds now to 242. Each room will also include a negative pressure system which allows that air exchange to obviously to go directly outside. So the air never exchanges with not even out in the hallway or another room. So our ability to house different patients, it doesn't matter if uh, it's a medical patient or it's a COVID positive patient. Sanford has also hired new graduates within the last year that will allow them to handle high volumes of patients if the need arises. And Nicholas and Lauren, the new rooms aren't there to treat COVID-19 patients exclusively, but are available if needed. Nicholas and Lauren, back to you. Good information. Okay, Nakaya, thank you very much. Nursing home.